Hello, hello. How are you today? I hope to be fine and feeling well. Uh, today, in this video, I gonna teach you the law of refraction. In previous video, I told you about refraction, the definition of refraction, and I also told you that why the why light refracted when uh, travels from from one medium to another medium. Uh, in this, let's begin our lesson. The law of refraction. The law of refraction. We have we have two law of refraction. Number one, the incident ray. The incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal line in the same plane. The same plane means the same surface. Uh, C. The board is, is a plane. We can say the board is, is, is a surface. We can say board is, is a kind of plane. And see, this is an uh, incident ray. Incident ray make an angle with normal. This angle ca called the angle of incidence, I. And when, uh, when the light travels from rarer medium it means like ear ear is rarer medium to when light travels from air to water water is a denser medium the light change its direction you see the figure the light change its direction or we can say the light bend the light bends or we can say the light is reflect, refracted. This, this ray called refracted ray and this ray called the incident ray. And this line, the line, this line called the normal. The refracted ray, the, ref, the incident ray and refracted ray and the normal line in the same plane, in the same surface. This is uh, number one and number two the radio sine i it is sine i and sine r is equal in two over n one it is constant if we divide into over n one we we take a number it means that number may be 2, 3, 4, or the root of 2. It is constant. It's a constant number. This is the second law of refraction. And also, this, the, this is the second law of refraction. And also, we can say Snell's law. This is called Snell's law. It means that sine i over sine r is equal n over n2 over n1. What is n2? Index of refraction in medium 2. Medium 2 may be water, glass, or someone else. And N1, index of refraction in medium 1. And this, this is the second law of refraction. And also you know that when the angle of incidence is increasing, the angle of Refraction of also is increasing. The radio of this angle gives a constant number. This called the second law of refraction. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some example about the law of refraction. A light ray traveling in air enters a liquid. Let's draw the figure. It is Diopter, it is a normal, a light ray traveling in ear, it is ear, the first medium is ear, the angle that makes is 45, at the angle of incident of 45, it is reflected making angle of, it is ear, 
when light travels from air to liquid, the angle of reflection is 30 degrees. It is liquid, maybe water, maybe oil, something else. Liquid. And what tell is the question? Find the refractive index of liquid. I told before that it is N2 and it is N1. Okay, let's solve the questions. We have the second law of refraction or Snell's law. We have sine i over sine r is equal sine i over sine r is equal n2 over n1. What is sine i? Sine 45 over sine 30 is equal in 2, we find in 2. In 2, the in refractive index of liquid is in 2. What is N1? N1 is 1 for refractive index of air is 1. Remember, this is constant. You should memorize this fine. The refractive index of air is 1. Okay. We put in here, in, in, a, in a set of N1, we put 1. Okay, what is the sine 45? It is root of, okay, root of 2 over 2. What is sine 30? 1 over 2 is equal N2. We finish 2 by 2. N2 is equal the root of 2. This is our answer. We find refractive index of the liquid is the root of 2. Okay, let's do one more question about the law of refraction. Look at this figure. The light ray travels from air to denser medium. Denser medium may be glass, different liquids, water or something else. Okay, find the incident, the angle of incidence. The angle of, refra the angle of refraction is 30. And also, index of refraction in medium 1, it means here, I told for you that it is, it is constant. You should remember that index refraction for here is 1. And index refraction in medium 2 is a denser medium is the root of 3. Find the angle of incidence. Okay, let's solve these questions. You know the second law of refraction or the Snell's law, sine i over sine r is equal n over 2, n2 over n1. What is sine i? We don't have sine i. Sine r is 30. What is n2? n2 the root of 3. What is n1? n1 is 1. Okay, now, sine i times 1, sine i, and the root of 3 times sine 30. Sine i is equal, the root of 3, what is sine, sine 30? Sine 3, 1 over 2. Sine 3, 1 over 2, Sine i, the root of 3 times 1, the root of 3 over 2. Sine i, and it's instead of the root of 3 over 2, which angle that the sine of angle is the root of 3 over 2? We put sine 60. Sine 60 is equal the root of 3 over 2. We finish sign by sign. I is equal 60. Okay, the incident angle is 60 degree. My students, these are all about the law of refraction. If you, uh, if you have any question about the law of refraction or Snell's law, try to comment below. And also if you want to learn physics, don't forget, follow our YouTube channel. Goodbye.